As we know, Singapore has been imposing partial lockdown from time to time, so it's important to get the government WhatsApp message to confirm the rules whether we can dine in or not. Do you know how much you spend on food when there is no dining in allowed? In our previous video, how I saved 60% of my salary in Singapore one year ago, we mentioned that the food budget is around $500 per month, including dining in which costs around $15 to $30 per meal. When the government announced that there is no dining in is allowed, I agree that most of us actually spend less since we cut down on social gathering and certain dining options are no longer available such as the steamboat and the BBQ options. I track down my daily food expenses for a week to validate the actual food expenses I spent. Here is the record of food expenses in the past week. The calculation is based on one person only. However, most of the meals I was sharing with X so we can try more dishes at lower cost. Monday. This day I was working from home. For breakfast, I bought toast and coffee takeaway from the nearby Kopitiam at the price of $2.80. For lunch, we went out to Subway and got a 6-inch chicken rendang with drink at the price of $8.30 and fresh mango from Giant Supermarket at the price of $3.20. The set shared by two people, so the lunch price is $5.75. Dinner, we went out to the nearby cinema and watched Snake Eyes after that, we get Shilling XXL Crispy Chicken Value Set for dinner at the price of $8.50. This includes the crispy chicken, sweet potato fries and a drink at the price of $8.50 shared by two people. The dinner price is $4.25. So the day one total expenses is $12.80. Tuesday. This day, I was also working from home. For breakfast, I went to tap out egg prata and coffee takeaway from the nearby mama shop at the price of $2.80. For lunch, we quickly grabbed some Thai food nearby, which are the basil pot rice $5, cashew chicken $6.80, and the Thai milk tea $3. The total $14.80 shared by two people. The lunch price is $7.40. For dinner, we went out to watch another movie, Black Widow, at somewhere further. So we chose to grab some fast food, Popeye chicken burger set, together with fries and drink. The price is $7.70. And then later, we bought a dessert jelly from the 7-Eleven at $2.30. So the dinner price is $10. Day 2 total expenses is $20.20. Wednesday, this day I went to office to work. While walking to the office on the way, I grabbed two slices of toast at $1.20 and had a free coffee at my office. Lunch. My colleague and I went to Tapao. I got the economic rice include macro fish and some veggie at $5. So dinner, it was kind of late. X and I wanted to grab something quick and be ready to watch the Olympic game. So we took away Burger King plant-based Uber burger set include fries and drink at the price of $10.35 for each set. The dessert is the Hershey Sunday Pie we share at the price of $3. So it costs only $1.50 per person. The dinner price is $11.85. Day 3, total expenses is $18.05. Thursday, this day I was working from home. Breakfast, I took away a pao and coffee nearby at $2.50. Lunch, nasi biryani from 7-Eleven at $4.90 and some fried bean curd skin as snack at $5, shared by two people. So the lunch price is $4.95. Dinner, we went to the nearby shopping mall to buy grocery. So after that, we dropped by Don Don Donki, the famous Japan supermarket in Singapore. We got some unagi rice and hotate rice at the cost of $6.90 each after 30% discount. So day 4 total expenses is $14.35. Friday, this day, I was working from home. For breakfast, I grabbed the same little thing from Mama shop, egg prata and coffee at the price of $2.80. Lunch, we get some Taiwan food, which is the braised pork belly rice, scallion chicken rice at $5.80 each, and a barbecue milk tea at $3, not share. 
so the lunch price for me is $8.80. For dinner, we went to cycling all the way to Marina Bay Sands, so our dinner is from the food court of MBS. We grabbed the tandoori chicken and naan set at the price of $10.50 and a drink 100 plus cost $2.20. The meal shared by two people, so the dinner price is $6.35. So day 5 total expenses is $17.95. Saturday, we started the day late with brunch of chili banh mi and a wonton mi from Malaysia Ho Chak. Cost is $9.50 and a desi ice cost $1.70. So the meal shared by two people and the lunch price is $5.60. Tea time, I got a copy and tart set at $3.70. Dinner, we want to be healthy a bit, so we got an organic juice, which is $5 from one of the store in the shopping mall, and Shilling XXL Chicken Crispy Value Set again at $8.50. The meal shared by two people, so the dinner price is $6.75. So day six, total expenses is $16.05. Sunday, started the day a bit early, went out for cycling, so we grabbed the breakfast value set with a toast, soft boiled egg and coffee at $3.10 in the CBD area. For lunch, we tapao prawn-based chicken wings from Atan Wings. 10 pieces cost about $11.80, shared by two people, so the lunch price is $5.90. Dinner, we tapao 10 fried sunlo bihun, $6.80 and a wonton soup. $6.50 shared by two people, so the dinner price is $6.65. So day 7, total expenses is $15.65. The total food expenses for the past one week is $115.05. If we continue to maintain this lifestyle, the food budget of $500 is still valid. But when the country opened up a loud dining in and bigger social gathering, I believe the food expenses will certainly go up. So what do you think? Comment below to share with us your thought. Give us a like and subscribe to our channel to support us. Thank you for watching. See you again in the next one.